Mrs. Treasurer Ajay Makan. Ajay Makan is now saying that we have been told that the checks we have been issuing is not honoured by the banks. When we investigated further, we found that the government has frozen all opposition party accounts uh, that belonged to the INC and the Youth Congress. We have filed an application to the Income Tax Tribunal. Now the hearing is currently underway and in total four accounts have been frozen. That's the big claim being made by the Congress Treasurer Ajay Makan. The banks are asked not to honour any of the checks. That is what Ajay Makan has to say. The Congress claims that the centres move after the Supreme Court struck down e-bond scheme yesterday and top sources are also telling CNN News 18 that Congress will move the court after uh, reaching the tribunal. This is the big story that we are getting to you. Let's also listen into what the Congress Treasurer Ajay Makan has to say. हम लोगों को परसों ये जानकारी मिली कि जो चेक हम लोग इशू कर रहे हैं वो बैंक्स उस चेक को ऑनर नहीं कर रहे हैं उसके ऊपर जब हम लोगों ने आगे छानबीन करी तो हमें बताया गया कि देश की मुख्य ऑपोजिशन पार्टी के सारे अकाउंट्स फ्रीज कर दिए गए हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी के अकाउंट्स पर तालाबंदी हो गई है कांग्रेस पार्टी के अकाउंट्स फ्रीज कर दिए गए हैं वी हैव फाइल्ड एन एप्लीकेशन बिफोर द इनकम टैक्स एपिलेट ट्रिब्यूनल एंड एज आई स्पीक नाउ आई थिंक द हियरिंग वुड बी गोइंग नाउ बिफोर द इनकम टैक्स एपिलेट ट्रिब्यूनल एंड वी हैव फुल फेथ ऑन द जुडिशरी नाउ all right uh, so clearly ajay makan hinting that they have full faith in the judiciary which also goes on to indicate that they may very well approach the courts after uh, the tribunal on that note i'm also joined in by shireen and pallavi on the news cast shireen uh, before we get into the political dimensions of this entire story take us through what was the reason cited uh, by the income tax uh, for freezing the four accounts uh, there were mainly two reasons that has in fact been cited in the notice that has been sent to the uh, international congress one is that uh, in the itr which was filed in the year 2018 and 19 there was a delay in filing that particular uh, itr for about 40 to 45 days apart from that they have also claimed that in the year 2019 a receipt of 199 crore was submitted by congress but apart from that there was a sum of 14 lakh 40000 that was in fact collected by the mps and mlas uh, which was not accounted for is the reason that has been given by the uh, income tax department now they have been saying that these two reasons are why they have found it very suspicious and regarding this they have in fact uh, put a penalty on uh, international congress at this point and has asked for a recovery of 210 crore rupees so at this point the uh, the congress party is saying that All these right. reasons Shireen, are I'm really running short of no time really i'll have to quickly take time. my last question from pallavi pallavi what is the sense that you're getting from congress sources uh, is is there any connection with the supreme court striking down the e bonds yesterday and between what the income tax uh, department has done with the congress accounts today congress certainly would find a connection between the two of them akaksha there between the electoral bonds judgment of the supreme court and the freezing of the congress's account and as shireen was pointing out because she was there at the press conference mm. of course the congress is now going to make it a huge political issue see this is could have an impact on the bharat jodo nyay yatra because right. that's where large number of party workers and volunteers are involved it's almost going to be salary time so that's the allegation coming in from the congress but politically speaking they are going to use it as to build up a narrative that this is the death of democracy and yet another attempt by the All bjp right, and the central government to silence you the there because we are running short of time we will keep a very close watch on this new story for now it's a quick wrap from my and thank you so much for watching